Morning, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Already 67, 68 out and growing and going up. It's going to be in the 80s today. That's like midsummer weather already. Um, it's supposed to rain possibly tonight and then tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. Got uh, big plans for the day today. Sunny. I still got to get this film off the window. It's sunny and nice out. Let's go have a look at the solar. We have 12.9 volts, uh, 67 degrees on the battery, and only 64 watts coming in. But that's because the sun hasn't cleared the trees yet. Although, outside, that is amazing. But that's behind the house still. Actually, you can see the shadows behind the house. Um, you can see the sun is actually, where's my finger, coming from this way right now. So uh, when you turn around uh, out the front window, the shadows are still going this way. So the sun isn't yet on the panels, which are over here. So right now it would be great to have solar panels out there in the metal on the far edge. But the amount of wires necessary that, for that would be horrible. I mean, that would be a lot of wire. It's just not feasible. Anyway, um, raccoon hasn't showed up. I've got raccoon traps all over the place and electric fence. By the way, I got a zap off the fence. Let me go over to the door. There's a morning dove. Very rare sight out here in the forest. I love these things. I got a major zap off the electric fence yesterday when I was touching the... I was reaching through to the baby chicks and I um, was was talking to the little chicks inside the chicken tractor and I was poking my finger through the mesh of the chicken tractor and my arm came in contact with the electric fence and I discovered that the electric fence works very very well there was a loud snap really loud pop on my arm as I got a jolt of energy pumped through my arm and I made a funny noise and jumped back. So um, it works really well, especially if you're touching that that fence. So any raccoon out there now is going to have a shock. All the baby bantam or all the baby silkies are out with the bantams. There's a lot of life out there, a lot of motion, a lot of activity. So now I've got to build in a a, um, a silky chicken coop, but. I'll be selling a bunch of these soon enough anyway. Pretty soon. It is going to be hard to do because some of them are really loving me. They're really friendly. Which will make them sell better though. So, anyway. Um, got a lot on the pl table today. A lot of plans to do. And uh, hopefully we'll get a lot done. I was already out this morning trying to troubleshoot these solar panels. And get them away from the tiny house so that I can continue working on the house siding so I uh, the connections are are bad it's the connectors on the solar panels have actually become defective what happened is the wind had had uh, tossed them around like leaves when I had that microburst out there in the meadow that time it ripped apart the wind turbine and picked up the solar panels and I think what happened is it damaged the connectors themselves on the solar panels because I um, I'm not getting any power through. When I test with a voltmeter, I get power, but when I connect them together, I don't get power through. So it's the connectors. So I've got to find some solar panels that'll give me power, find uh, three panels that'll work, and I'll be really, really swimming in energy here. I want to show you the solar, um, the records for solar power. Right now we're at up to 12.99 volts. Let's go to the data log and show you what we've been pulling in here recently. Um, where's my mouse right here? Okay, um, the best we had was four days ago, 2,500 watts. Now this is only 600 watts of solar panels. 600 watts of solar panels. Uh, another day was cloudy, 1370. Two days ago was 2,000 watts. Yesterday, partly cloudy, 1900. And today, a whopping 60 watts of power so far. So, 
2,500 watts of solar. Go back a ways. There's uh, 2,250 right here. So on 600 here back here weighs 24 or 2,500. So about 2,500 watts of solar is what I'm going to get out of 600 watts of solar panels at this time of year. And I'm sitting in the forest. Now, don't let this discourage you. My situation is not normal. I am surrounded by trees. I don't get a full 10 hours of sunlight in a day. I'm getting just a few sunlight hours a day on the solar panels because of the nature of the location here, because I'm surrounded by trees. If you had these up high in a house, in a clearing, without any trees everywhere, you'd be pulling in a lot more power. Probably 600 watts could give you about 6,000 watts of energy in an average 10 hour day of light. So there's a huge difference to living in the forest or, or having a house in a clearing. So big, big difference. 6,000 watts of power in a day would be a really, really nice. It's more than I've ever, ever seen here. And that's what you could expect in 10 hours of sunlight. Um, with 600 watts of solar panels for an average home. So I think I'll sit down one day and talk about that in more detail because I see some people are discouraged from solar just because of my situation, but it's a very rare situation that people are going to be surrounded by the trees like this. This is really, really not your average situation. Unbelievable. 83 degrees out already. Today, I have the windows in the house closed. Closed. This is so unbelievable. Uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, 83 degrees. This is like midsummer weather in uh, May. Now, to make this just in comparison to how amazing this is to me, is that we just had a freeze a week ago. I had uh, 26 degrees, which for you... Uh, European people and other people around the world is well below freezing and now it's a hot summer day really weird and this is only 11 o'clock it's the sun hasn't even cleared the trees yet now I've got California weather it is 88 degrees outside in 83 in I've got the windows closed and there is really nothing more I can do right now um, Got to get that radiant foil finished, and that'll help a lot on keeping this place cooler on times like this. What do you guys think of this heat wave? Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you. Huh? What do you think? What do you think of the heat today? That all you're going to do with yourselves? Huh? That it? Lazy bums. <laughs> Another problem with the heat. <laughs> Here is the advantage of the solar panels in front of the tiny house on wheels, right up by the house. Now remember, I showed you how there was no sunlight reaching the other panels, and there's full sunlight reaching in the afternoon. It's 6 o'clock in the evening, and I'm pulling in 113, 100 plus watts of solar power from those, that, those solar panels. The sun is already below the tree line, and I'm pulling in over 100 watts in at 6 o'clock in the afternoon. I've never seen power at this hour. Okay, it's varying because there's clouds and all kinds of junk, but it's around 100 watts right now of power at 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, I'll show you in a minute where the, tree, uh, where the sun is below the trees already. So that's already a massive uh, bonus and advantage. Now, now that I finally got them working, that is, it's odd though that during the day I was reduced to between four and 500 watts at any given time. So I think that the charge controller is reducing the power because uh, it thinks the battery's charged up. Now I've got here 2,700 watts of power already today, and it was partly cloudy. There was a lot of clouds passing over, so it wasn't wasn't uh, going really well. Now a few days ago I had 2500 with just 600 watts of solar and that was a purely sunny day with just the, the three solar panels over by the RV. There was a cloudy day, there was a partly cloudy day just with 600 watts of solar 
Um, there was a decent partly cloudy day, and here is a partly cloudy day with 1,200 watts of solar panels connected. Two entire sets, one by the RV and one up by the tiny house on wheels. So that's definitely a major improvement already in the amount of solar power I'm pulling into the tiny house. Can't wait to have a full sunny day and see what I can really bring in here. Um, but again, live view. It takes a second for my laptop to refresh. 111 watts right now. Still bringing in 8.3 amps. Not bad, considering I'll show you where the sun is already below the tree line. I don't know if the camera will show you. Yes, there. So that's really impressive. Okay, how's this? The sun is almost completely down, and I'm still pulling in 34 watts of power from the solar panels that are up here by the tiny house on wheels. Definitely, definitely seeing an improvement and an advantage and more power. So, really good. Really exciting. It's now 6.40, and sun is setting officially for me. It'll still be up for a couple hours for those on the other side of the trees, but... That is in a serious improvement over previously, so I'm quite excited now. Moving the panels over here close to the house was a great idea. If I can manage to get some over there on the other side of the meadow, I'd have morning, noon, and afternoon solar panel, solar power, and really be drawn in the amps. That would be great. So I'm going to have to get some more wire for that.